Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I'm redoing my video a day without immigrants because the volume was too low. I'm not understanding why, but maybe because I probably wasn't talking loud. That could be one reason. But um the day of without immigrants um here in Virginia, they try to be like bigger cities and it was on the news the day that um it was supposed to happen. Uh, it was on the news, and there was one restaurant, well, this one owner, but he owns two restaurants, and he said that he was closing down uh, yesterday. And um, come to find out, it was a couple of more restaurants, uh, a few more. It was a little crowd out there. They want to make it seem like they're they're in a big city, and they're in the know of everything. But uh, it's nothing like you was... With, Anything you would have, like in California, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, because, you know, a lot more Mexicans or immigrants um, are probably in those states than it is over here. Um, so uh, the, the Hispanic people wanted to close restaurants and no shopping at the malls and stuff. And the thing is, the mall situation, especially here, uh, you don't see any Mexicans at the mall. So they do all their shopping uh, at Walmart. And um, and not going to school. And I asked my son yesterday, did any uh, Hispanics go to school yesterday? He said they all were there. So it's like this one day they're making a big deal out of it. Big deal out of nothing because Donald Trump uh, President Donald Trump, uh, they said that he's treating um, undocumented uh, immigrants badly. Now, they shouldn't be here in the get-go. The, there's people that come here the right way, and then you have people that come here the wrong way. And we're focusing on the people who's coming here the wrong way. And that's all Donald Trump is doing. If you want to be able to stay over here and not have any repercussions, you need to do things the right way. So, this one day you guys had, I don't think um, the e economy was affected uh, at all. I mean, it, there probably was a you know big effect on these things happening, but me going to a Mexican restaurant is like once every three or four once oh my god i can't even think i'll probably go once every other three or four months there's nothing that i have to go get because there's so many other restaurants i mean there's just tons of restaurants this place is full of restaurants so the mexican all the mexican mexican restaurants shut down <laughs> people there's zillions of zillion more restaurants we can go to so it's your fault that you closed down because the most people you see at these mom and pop restaurants are Mexicans. Mexicans go to Mexican restaurants. You'll see more Mexicans at a Mexican restaurant than you'll see at McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. So the only people that you're hurting by closing down are Mexicans or uh, other Hispanic people or Latina people or Latino people, whatever you, whatever you call yourselves. But in, in shopping, you only shop at Walmart. The malls are not missing you. I mean, JCPenney's, Macy's, Dillard's, um, Hot Topic. You don't shop there anyways. So there's no big deal if you're not going to the malls. I mean, you get your clothes from Walmart. That's, I mean, that's the only place I see Mexicans or Hispanic people or any people of color, other, you know, not including blacks, um, are at Walmart. Uh, very seldom do you see, uh, Asian people at the malls. So, this one day of no immigrants is really not a big deal because you don't really see them unless you're going to one of these restaurants. I mean, you see them riding bikes, yeah. You, know? you can spot a Mexican or a Hispanic person a mile away. And, um, but uh, to me, you had no effect. This had no effect on 
the economy to me. But I know there's some people out there that can tell you the effect that this had on the economy. But there's so many other places to eat and so many other places to shop. And it just made no sense. And why would I miss school if I was uh, an immigrant or just Hispanic? Just miss a day and be and miss. And, and then there's homework I got to catch up on. I mean, now this has to be a, a national holiday where it's recognized and then everyone doesn't have homework. You know, I'm not going to miss a day of school because you got something crazy going on. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, if it's a recognized holiday, fine. There's no homework for no one. So uh, this was just a really big, stupid thing. Just like uh, the Women's March and marching with a ton with zillions of women is the worst thing you could possibly do who want to hear nagging women nagging all freaking day so um the day without immigrants hmm okay whoopty freaking do so uh, i want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video and if you like this video hit like if you want to share this video share it if you want to subscribe to my channel subscribe and you guys have a great day take care bye bye